Hello again, this is Demos TV. Today, I'll be showing you how you can learn and master the art of bank hacking in NoPixel RP servers. Just a short disclaimer, this video is not exactly about hacking, since it's just a minigame so you won't be doing any coding at all. Before we start, I would really appreciate it if you can click on the subscribe button and as well as the like button if you enjoy this video or find it helpful. So let's talk about the mechanics of this minigame. There are basically just 4 things that you need to know in this. First is the sequence. It is the first set of numbers that would appear upon starting the minigame. This is the only thing that you need to memorize. Second is the puzzles. That would be replacing the sequence which would contain the elements for the minigame. As for the elements, I'll be discussing them later on. Third is the timer. This would simply tell you how much time you have left to accomplish the minigame. Last is the required elements. This is the text below saying number color 3 and color text 2. So that's the elements that you need to identify. After identifying those elements, you need to put your answers on the text box below. This is where speed comes in, since you have to be fast in identifying the required elements and typing the answer. If you still don't understand it, all you need to know is that it's all about memorization, familiarity, and speed. So let's dive in deeper, we'll be discussing now the elements of a puzzle. I actually divided the elements into three sets to help you familiarize yourself better. Because before, I actually had a hard time trying to figure out which element is which, but I hope with this guide, you guys won't be able to go through that. First set is the shape. Yes, that's right. This set only has one element, and that's the shape. It's pretty straightforward since you only need to identify the shape of the puzzle. In this case, that's triangle. Next set is the text, which has the color text and the shape text. I simply call them text because they have the word text on their names. In this, you don't need to think about any color or shapes. You just have to copy the word of the color or shape that's in the puzzle. So here, it says purple and circle, right? So when you're asked what the color text is, your answer should be purple. If you're asked about the shape text, it's circle. You don't have to think about their color or anything else, you just have to copy. Alright, the third set. And that's the colors. Again, I call them colors because they have colors on their name. Everything here is straightforward except for a text background color. In this, you just have to identify what their colors are. So for the background color, that's gonna be purple. Number color, that's gonna be blue. Shape color, that's gonna be black. And for the text background color, that's gonna be red. When I was still learning about this, I thought the text background color is the same as the shape color. So be careful with this one. I know it's a lot, but you just need a lot of practice to familiarize yourself better with these elements. I also suggest that you take a screenshot of this screen so you can use it as a reference in the future or even a guide. Now let's try to identify each of the elements that's shown on this puzzle. I actually said the answers a while ago, but I'll just reiterate them. For the shape, it's a triangle. Color text, purple. Shape text, circle. Background color, purple. Text background color, red. Number color is blue and shape color black. Now, let's discuss about the sequence. So, it's pretty straightforward again. You only need to memorize an order of the numbers that's provided to you. The amount of numbers may vary from one heist to another. So, as a standard for the Flika and the Big Bang, that's gonna be just four numbers. But for the underground of the Big Bang Vault, it's gonna have six numbers instead of four. For the sake of this discussion, let's just stick to four since we're just starting. So in this case, the sequence is 1, 4, 2, 3. Say it again multiple times, make sure you're not being disturbed. So now let's proceed to the test. Don't worry, this is not timed and you may take all the time you need to identify the required elements. So again, the sequence is 1, 4, 2, 3. You don't need to remember the numbers seen on the puzzles as they're just meant to mess with your mind. So we have to find the number color of 3 and the color text of 2. So yeah, I provided the sequence again to help you memorize it. So which one among these puzzles is 3? So that's gonna be the one on the right. Then what's the number color of it? That's gonna be white. So if you want, you can put that on the text box first. So next, let's identify the second required element, which is the color text of 2. And that's the one on the left of number 3. Now let's find what the color text is. And that's yellow. So the answer for this minigame is white and yellow. Make sure to add a space to separate your answers for the first and the second required elements. So if you've made it this far, I would like to congratulate you for getting to know the mechanics of the game and how to identify the elements of the puzzle and how to win the minigame. But we need to spice things up or increase the challenge a bit since the actual minigame would require you to be fast 
and you'll need to beat the minigame up to 4 times in order to open the vault door. So now let's talk about how you can practice this minigame. There are plenty of bank hacking practices that you can find online, but the one I'll recommend is the one shown on this link. It's the one that I found to be useful and helpful at the same time. So here's how it looks like. The one I did on the clips actually came from this. So as you can see on the lower left portion, you can adjust the puzzle amount and time. It's automatically set to 4 and 7 as the default. And I think that's the same time as the one in game. But if you're still trying and working on identifying the elements, I suggest you put the time to 20 just to give yourself plenty of time to identify the required elements. Then if you're getting the hang of it, lower it back to 10, then to 6 or even 7 if you want to try the actual one, then to 5 if you want to challenge yourself more. If you want to try hacking the big bank's underground vault, then you can set the amount of puzzle to 6, then puzzle time to 8. Just remember that if you're still practicing, you don't need to be fast, just work on your own face. For me, it took me around 3 days to get the hang of everything. If you feel that your brain is tired, take a break. Don't push it too much. If you're getting frustrated, I know I've been there too, and I failed so hard at first too. Just keep on practicing and eventually, you'll get the hang of it. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. I hope this video could help you on your journey to becoming a bank hacker in NoPixel RP. I also want to add that me and my friends are looking for a server to join in 5M. We're preferring servers that are in the Asia region to avoid lag and connection issues. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And I'll see you on the next one.